All right, well, folks, we are um, we are fishing today. Surprise, I know, right? It is 5:56 a.m. Somewhat early, not too early, because we're actually not fishing this morning. We are going on a road trip. I am with my man. Oh sh. Oh, whoops. I am. We're good. We're good. I'm with my man over here. We're doing big things. We're going to a lake I've not been to since. I think I was 17 years old. High school state championship 2014. Me and my buddy Ethan came in second place. I'm here to redeem myself. Gonna, gonna take first because we're still in high school, right? You ain't first, you're last. Yeah, you ain't first, you're last, guys. So we're gonna go back. I'm excited. I am excited. It's one of my all-time favorite lakes, and I have not been there in so, so long. And I was talking to Milk, and I was like, dude, let's go. He's never been there. I've only been there once or twice. So I, we don't really know anything about the lake. So. It's like five and a half hours west from here, so we're gonna we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully, get there around noon or so, and uh, hopefully, we can uh, catch some fish. Six and a half hours late. We are here, folks. We made it to the lake. It looks like a desert out here, but this entire thing—I'll toss a drone up, obviously later. But the entire thing is sand. Like there's just sand everywhere. I literally think we're in the desert, but the water's really low. It's probably like 20 feet lower than it was last time I was here. So. I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do, what to expect right now. You guys can see, it's just like literally sand, desert-like stuff. But we're here. We are here again. Brought brought Ben's boat, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see if we can put something together. It's like noon right now, so it's not really prime time frog fishing, which is kind of what I was, you know, hoping to do. But we're gonna do that tonight. But for now, we're gonna probably just flip and pitch. There's like zero wind. Maybe some stanko fishing. I'm not really sure. We're here though. I'm excited. So 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 excited. Have not been here in so long. I'm excited to give it a shot now that I've got some more knowledge on how to catch them fish. And uh, hopefully we can catch some bass. One. little one on the board on the board come on baby get in here we're on the board came all the way to valentine nebraska to catch myself a flare fish sahara desert. we are fishing in the sahara desert folks catching straight up nebraska freaking brutes we're on the board though only took us about 10 minutes of fishing so not bad frog fishing broad daylight folks there's a little duckweed over there though if you guys don't know what duckweed is how do you how would you describe duckweed Oh, little tiny baby circles. Baby, <laughs> all right. That's the last time I asked Ben to describe some vegetation. Little tiny, like green, green, green beads that, like, it's just it, they all just kind of congregate there, and all the winds blowing there. So that's it was just basically the only like cover that we've we found so far. So that's so I caught a fish on the old froggy hoggy doggy. Camera was on this time. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit bigger. Ooh, yeah, improvement. We'll take yes. them. Now we're talking, folks. There we go. More or less what we came here for. I mean, we obviously want some bigger ones than that, but I'll take it. Not a bad one. He, dude, he hit it so hard. Yeah, he oh. knocked it. These fish are so aggressive. Love catching these desert largemouth bass. See you later, Cleveland. Whoop whoop. Back in the water, folks. If you guys want to know what I'm fishing with, I've got on this. I've got on this little brush hog kick. You ever get that? Where you just like, you used to like, like I used to throw this in high school, and this is where I caught the fish on in the tournament. And you just like just throw it like, I don't know. It's weird. Like I never throw brush hogs, but you gotta make a pig noise too. Yeah, you gotta. You have to actually have to oink. What was that? That was terrible. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so if you guys want any of the products here, um, tungsten weight, very important. For those of you guys that want tungsten cheap, leave a link down below. I've, I've said this in several, several videos where I get my tungsten. I'll uh, hook you guys up, links down below. Super cheap stuff. You don't even have to worry about the painted stuff. It's, it really doesn't matter. Get a nice stiff hook. Get yourself a flares, frogging, flipping stick. Nice, de a decently fast gear ratio. I mean, 6.4 or, or more. And uh, and yeah, what's a 17 pound line? And I just got a little creature, baby, a little brush hog, baby brush hog on here. I'll link all this stuff down below if you guys want it. Check it out, you catch you some fish. Oh, wow, folks. That was a quick little sesh, little fishing sesh there. We're actually leaving. Yeah, we just sucked that much. This lake's drawn way down, way down, like 10, I don't know. I can't do math, I don't know. But it's, it's down a lot, and uh, that's what we're blaming it on. So we drove all the way out here to fish this lake, and we're not gonna fish this lake. We're gonna go find some smaller lakes nearby up in this desert that we're fishing and uh, hopefully find some more bass, bigger bass, and maybe musky or northern pike. A few moments later. We are here at Lake Dose. We drove through literally the middle of nowhere to get here, like on a path, on a path. Like the trailer was wider than the actual path. We were driving in grass. You can see there is nothing, nothing around us. I have, last time I fished this, I think I was probably 14, maybe 13 years old. So last year, probably not the most ideal boat launch for a 20, what is it, 20 footer, not 20, foot. 20, 20 footer fiber blaster, but it's okay. We're going to make, we're going to make things happen, folks. I'm already calling it. I'm calling my shot. You ready? You ready for the shot? Black and blue chatterbait. Boom. Oh, golly. There you go. Get that fish out. Get that Get fish out. out. Get in here. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that's a football. You like came out of the water and got that, dude. That's oh, that's, that's like, like the a, most football of a largemouth I've ever seen. Oh god, that thing is a football. Look how we got that frog too. Woo! Yes. Finally, baby. Finally. He did it. He did it. He did it, folks. All right, game on. Two hours later. So, yeah. Good lake. Yeah. Really good day so far. We're killing them. Caught a lot of fish. Big ones, big one, big one. Yeah, just, oh boys, boys and girls, you know when you try to do the new things and get out of your comfort zone and fish lakes you've never been to, well by golly sometimes it just sucks, just sucks. But we can't get down guys, you gotta stay positive. We got one more lake, it is 7.03 p.m. We still have almost two hours left. This lake sucked. The lake before this pretty much sucked. He did catch a big one, so maybe I just sucked. Whatever. We're gonna go to one more lake. Stick with me, guys. I know you guys are probably tired of me talking. You just wanna see me catch fish. I'm trying. I am trying. We grinded on this lake, and we don't know why we couldn't catch any fish, but we couldn't. So anyways, we are gonna head to the last last lake of the day. Hopefully we can wrap it up, catch some frog fish, catch some punch fish. Just catch any, any fish. It's one of the two baits I'm gonna throw, so I better use it. We're good. It was, that was when I was using the camera and I had a bolt on. There's one. There's one. That's a, That's good, a good one. one. Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> we on the board, boys. That's what we're after. Dude, yes. Oh. Yes, 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 folks. Woo. Crush the frog. We it. found it, folks. We just had to switch up lakes. Found the juice. Found the freaking juice. Dolphin dove over it. I didn't even twitch it. This guy. Didn't even twitch it. White frog. Hot. Dude, didn't twitch it. Look over. Fish is dolphin diving over the top of my that frog. Dolphin. Ooh, that's not a bad one either. Woo! -wee. Another two pounds. Little hydrilla gorilla, folks. That's what we talk. Actually, not really, but okay. This feels so good. Put on a white frog. Yep, we gotta we gotta let go. Ben's gotta get in on this action. You guys are about to watch a freaking demolition freaking frog and sesh, bruh. Oh, that's a good one. Get him. Get him. Flash, flash, flash. Oh, Got him. Freaking beast. <laughs> Dude, that's a good fish, too. Woo! <laughs> there, we done did it, folks. Look at that. What the hell is this guy doing? Look at it. 
What are you doing, boy? You gonna catch a fish? No, no. I'm just making up for you catching the four pounder. <laughs> I struggled all day long. <laughs> I'm just, I'm in my zone now. Right there, baby. That's what we needed. Bye, Felicia. Him. Yeah, buddy. Right on that point. Yep. Another one, baby. Come on, buddy. Woo! Oh, God, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. After a long day, waking up at 6 a.m., driving five hours, and basically not catching anything all day long on two different lakes, grinding, finally. Getting getting something, a little something figured out here. Hell yeah. Bye, buddy. So, guys, if you guys want any of the products that you guys are seeing me fish, I will link it all down below, especially this right here. See that? That's my name, Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. Would really appreciate if you guys picked one up. It helps me out a ton. Helps me go on all these fun adventures. And as you guys can, as you guys can see, it rips the, as Ben would call, ditch pandas. Cheese pandas. Cheese pandas. Yeah, out, of out, of the, out of the cheese. You guys see we're fishing cheese right now. It's all sloppy and cheesy. It rips all the cheese pandas out. So if you guys want to rip cheese pandas, get yourself a fro Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. Shameless plug. This is money catching the cheese pandas. There he is! Get him! There he is! There we go. God, this is just... Oh, this is too much fun. Long day of not catching fish, folks. Great way to end it. Right there. Another, another cheese panda. God, this is nice. I love me some cheese pandas. See little guy? Boop, boop. Back in the water. On the old froggy hoggy doggy. Well, folks, this is where I'm going to end the video. Probably with Ben catching a fish in the background. We are leaving with a little bit of daylight left because we still have to check into our hotel and whatnot so it was a good day see like i, I wish i could have titled this video never give up uh because was a, we, we definitely went a little bit more try harder than my last video that i titled never give up which was the last video i posted but again folks never give up it was a six hour drive three four hours at one lake three four hours at another and uh didn't catch a whole lot and finally rods fi finally finally found a good lake with some decent fish, caught him on the frog. Well, he's gonna he's gonna try to catch fish. You guys just keep you know keep entertaining you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching. I have no idea what we're gonna do the rest of the week. We're here. We're kind of like around this area for like two or three more days, and we might actually go smallmouth fishing. So that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, we can uh, catch some catch some brown ones. You know, I caught a bunch of brown ones on the Barbie pole. You guys remember that? And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna catch some more brown ones. Anyways, I'm not gonna make this video any longer because I'm sure it's plenty long with all the fish catches. How many do you think we caught tonight? 20? I would say so, 20? Yeah. 20 total? 20 in probably 30, 45 minutes? Pretty good day, folks. Pretty good day. Oh yeah, pick up a flare rod if you haven't. There's some flare gear linked down below. Everything is linked down below as always. And peace.